Hello friends, welcome to my class. Today we are going to do simple equations of class 7, exercise 4.1, question number 3. So here, solve the following equations by trial and error method. And the first equation is 5p plus 2 equal to 70. So trial and error method, let us discuss what is there. Before that, you have to remember the important thing that if you are writing an equation, the equation will have two parts. One which is on the left side of the equal sign and the other part on the right side of the equal sign. This part on the left hand side we call it LHS or left hand side and on the right side of the equal sign we call it RHS or right hand side. Okay. So, equation has two parts, one on the left side of the equation which is known as the LHS and the other on the right hand side of the equation which is known as the RHS. And this P, P is the variable, P is the variable 5, 2, 17, they are the constants. Constant means the value will not change, only the value of P will change. That is why it is called the variable. Let us see how the value of P changes and what is trial and error method. Okay. So trial and error method means we have to give certain values to P. Suppose I am going to write if P equal to 0. If P equal to 0, what will be the answer on the right hand side? It is 5 into 0 plus 2 equal to 17. Is it correct? Are we getting 17 when we solve this? 5 into 0 is 0. 0 plus 2 is not an equal to 17. So, the value of P is not 0. Okay. Second, if P equal to 1, that is, we are giving the value 1 to this variable P. In the place of P, we are going to write 1. And let us see if it is the right hand side is equal to 17 or not. If P equal to 1, then what will happen to our equation? 5 into 1 plus 2 equal to 17. That we have to find out. Is it correct or not? 1 5 is of 5. 5 plus 2 is not equal to 17. So our value is again not 1, not 0. Okay, this is trial and error method. Trial and error method means we are just giving certain values to the variable and trying out them. Is it correct or not? Like that, we have to solve till we get the answer 70 when we solve the left hand side. Once the left hand side and right hand side become equal, we can stop. Next, we will see if P equal to 2, what answer we are going to get? 5 into 2 plus 2. Let us see if we are getting 17 or not. 5 2s are 10. 10 plus 2 is 12. 12 which is not equal to the right hand side. So that is also not our correct value. Next if P equal to 3. 5 into 3 plus 2. What will be the answer? 5 3s are 15. 15 plus 2 equal to 17. So, this is our answer. So, when P is equal to 3, we are getting the same value. How is that? 5 plus 15, 15 plus 2 equal to 17. That is, left hand side and right hand side are equal. This is how we solve the problems using trial and error method. Hope all of you are clear with it. Let us do the second question. Question 2. 
question 2 3 n minus 14 equal to 4 3 n minus 14 equal to 4 ok so let us see here I am doing changing a little bit <coughs> let's see what the answer we are getting I am going to write left hand side then after that m equal to or the value of m then after that we can see value of left hand side what is the answer we are going the getting in the left hand side and what is on the right hand side so first value what we are going to do is what is left hand side left hand side is 3m minus 14 3m minus 14 this is our left hand side suppose we are giving 0 to m what will be the value of left hand side 3 into 0 minus 14 3 into 0 0 0 minus 14 is minus 14 then what should be the, the right hand side the right hand side should be 4 Okay, so that value is not equal. Second, 3m minus, again left hand side is 3m minus 14. Now I am going to give the value m to 1. If we give m the value 1, what will happen? 3 into 1 minus 14. 1 3 is a 3, 3 minus 14 is minus 11. So again we are not getting the value. Here again R is this. Now in the third part I am going to give little bit higher value to M. So I am going to give 4. The value of M I am going to take as 4. So if I take 4 here, what will be the answer? 3 into 4 minus 14. 4 3 is 12. 12 minus 14 is minus 2. So still our value is not reached. Now I'm going, I'm going to take 6 as the value of m. Okay, 6. What happens if I give 6 or take 6 as the value of m? So, 3 into 6 minus 14. 6 days are 18. 18 minus 14 is 4. So, that is the answer that we are looking for. So, we have tried different values uh, by giving different values to M. We have seen that the left hand side and right hand side were not equal. Once we put the value 6 in place of M, we are getting 4 on each side. Left hand side also has the value 4. Right hand side also has the value 4. So by trial and error method, we have put different values to M and finally we have find the answer. So the next question we will do in the next video. If you have any doubt, please comment. Thank you.